Let's start, first of all, with, um, with the travel uh, ban uh, reissued today. Iraq is off the list of the seven countries. Uh, he trotted out the Secretary of State, Homeland Security Director, and Attorney General, each to give their own take based on their own responsibilities as to why this is good and legal and necessary. Yeah, well, the fact of the matter is this is the way it should have been the first time he rolled it out. So they did learn a lot from the absolute messed up rollout of, what, about a month ago? They did it right. The right people showed up. The right people gave their opinions of how it's going to roll out, what's going to happen. Iraq now is off the list because they are working with the United States of America to be able to vet better those who are coming to the United States as they help us uh, in the war against ISIS. So this is a great rollout. I don't think you're going to see the same thing in the streets now that you saw a month ago because of the way it was done. If it goes to court and, and, and another judge dares to say, well, these are all Muslim countries, and the president said again in the campaign he wants to ban Muslims, which is what the first, the, the, the last court did, the three-judge panel um, in the Ninth Circuit, I mean, that, that just can't be. I mean, that, that, that has to go to the Supreme Court because, and I think this time they'll take it there after, after the new uh, Supreme Court justice is in there, uh, because you can't, you can't t bring up something somebody said in a campaign and hold it against the, 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 the constitutionality of something. And the reality is, and it's been said many times, these are six countries, basically Muslim countries. What about the other, what, 40 countries that are Muslim, who in fact are not banned from coming to the United States of America? This is just for those areas of the world, those countries of the world, where they produce bad people and terrorists.